I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. About 8.30 p.m. Sunday, the 23rd of November, 2025. We've had live coverage and updates all day on the Texas Storm Chasers YouTube channel, Texas Storm Chasers website. Yep, we got a website and the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Yeah, over 100,000 of y'all use that. Want to give an update what we expect in a dedicated video going into the overnight hours and Monday as we are expecting storms to increase across North Texas, the big country, Concha Valley overnight into Monday morning being a very loud night and then tomorrow afternoon and evening the potential for severe storms with a tornado threat east texas northeast texas into the brazos valley and southeast texas so let's take a look at the high rise rapid refresh model for today tonight and monday we are going to see storms increase overnight north texas texoma the big country the concho valley parts of central texas some of those storms could have pocket change size hail but for the most part most storms are just going to have a lot of heavy rain and a whole lot of lightning ladies and gentlemen let me tell you it's going to be a strobe show tonight unfortunately for those who can't sleep through fun thunder 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 whatever you want it to be uh that's me we are not going to be dealing with a pleasant night now under those storms, we're probably going to see a swath of 3 to 5 inch rain total set up somewhere between San Angelo and DFW. Maybe an access along that line, meaning flooding is going to be an issue overnight into Monday morning, including the Monday morning commute. And that is probably going to impact somewhere in DFW with that flooding threat. So remember, high water on roads means turn around, don't drown, and total out and flood your vehicle. Especially before sunrise, it's going to be more difficult to see high water on roads, but we do expect that's going to be an issue in parts of the Metroplex tomorrow morning. So please give yourself a little extra time to get into wherever you need to be going, whether it be the gain of your Thanksgiving travels or going into work. If it makes you feel better, I, I, I get to work all night and tomorrow, so... Otherwise, storms, yeah, it's going to be unpleasant tomorrow morning, DFW, down into the big country, Central Texas. Tomorrow afternoon and evening, we are expecting storms to become more vigorous across East Texas, the Piney Woods of East Texas, Toledo Bend Reservoir, Brazos Valley, Southeast Texas. You can see this model has some of those storms becoming cellular, and in fact, supercellular, which means we're going to be dealing with rotating thunderstorms, and the ingredients do look to be coming together to support a solid severe weather threat, including, unfortunately, the potential for a few tornadoes. So we're going to have to be on guard tomorrow. And again, there's no reason to get anxious or scared. It's our fall severe weather season. I swear we're busier in East Texas in the fall and winter than we are in the spring. So you know what? You're already better than 95% of the folks because you know to stay on guard tomorrow. And we're going to be here to get you through it. It's going to be a OK. Hey, clearly I've had my caffeine. After tomorrow evening, Tuesday morning, storms move off into the Gulf, Louisiana, Arkansas. We're done with rain until Saturday after that. Now, let's take a look at severe weather outlook for tomorrow. Again, this is what the Storm Prediction Center has at the moment. We'll get a new outlook around 1 a.m., but uh, highest threat for scattered severe storms, including some tornado threat. Brazos Valley, Central Texas, East Texas, into the Toledo Bend Reservoir and the uh, Golden Triangle. And they may upgrade part of that to a level 3 out of 5 for scattered to several severe storms. And that would simply be where the corridor of tornado threat is most certain and highest. It, really not much is going to change if they upgrade that, to be honest. Uh, it just means, you know, scarier wording, more social media people go nuts about it. It's not really going to get all that different in terms of what we expect we expect we're going to be dealing with some tornado issues tomorrow and we're going to be here to talk you through it whether or not the map color is yellow or orange we'll still be paying attention to that now in terms of the forecast range this is just from that high rise rapid refresh model we showed you this is just through noon tomorrow so before any of the afternoon and evening stuff gets going you can see this does set up a corridor of two to four inch rain totals from tom green county and san angelo up through brown county and brownwood up through parts of somerville hood johnson dallas tarrant ellis counties and this would result in the heaviest rains uh kind of falling from san angelo and into parts of dfw we're going to have to stay mindful of this because soils are saturated, things are wet, the ground can't absorb that much water, we're going to have a lot of runoff and pretty quick rises on creeks, streams, and a lot of roads are going to flood pretty quickly. So, And that's in addition to the whole lightning setting stuff on fire routine. So even if we're not dealing with tornadoes, damaging winds, or a bunch of hail overnight, I don't think we're going to have to deal with tornadoes 
bunch of damaging winds. We'll probably have some hail, but main issue, lightning, heavy rain, and then tomorrow afternoon and evening, we're going to be dealing with an uptake in the tornado threat, East Texas, Brazos Valley, and with that, hail, damaging winds, and, well, of course, more heavy rain and localized flooding for sure. So we'll be keeping a close eye on it. Uh, please stay mindful of that and remain aware if you're out traveling tomorrow. If you're traveling, be safe. God bless with that. And otherwise, we'll be here getting you through it regardless because, well, I'm Texas Storm Chaser Spaldy and Chief David Reimer, and it's what I live for. So we'll keep an eye on things going in tonight. We'll keep an eye on things tomorrow. And with that, I'm going to go find some hot chocolate. Y'all have a good evening. We'll see you soon. God bless.